we're testing some gear here so where's audio gear we have the there's a Titan rack here which is a 500 series um, it's got an NG suffix um, which means that uh, this can be controlled via computer really it plugs in the rack plugs in via USB and um, these where's audio units are uh, totally analog audio path and they're digitally controlled and that's why you can um, um, uh, control them from the computer so uh, you know that they're, they're controllable from the front panel as well um, we've got the Dion here which is the kind of SSL plus uh, bus compressor it does a lot more the, than your uh, usual um, type of SSL bus compressor. Dow Z has reviewed this already so you, you can read his review at gearsluts.com I'd recommend that, some uh, great other reviews there as well um, uh, these two units here are the Mimus units um, and they're um, same thing analog signal path based on an FET compressor so it's kind of 1176 style uh, compression and it's got a few a few little extras on it as well as a, a sidechain filter and um, harmonic distortion this type of thing so that will be the subject of another review and the main thing we're looking at today is the Hyperion EQ which is very very nice indeed and it, it can do several modes it can do mid side it can do your normal uh, gang stereo or it can do dual mono so, so just a quick uh, check around this where's audio gear and um, we've got the titan rack there with the hyperion eq to the mimus uh, fet compressors and the dion uh, vca compressor stereo compressor and just for this demonstration here I've got a session running in Reason with just a background track uh, this is in Radar Studio that's been summed in analog and fed out through the uh, there's a BAE preamp there and then that's coming first into the Mimus then to the Hyperion then the Dion that's going into the sound devices recorder here which is converting it from analog back to digital and the audio has been recorded in this reason session in another computer so um, as you can see there there's a, a plug in here that accompanies the gear the where's audio gear and there you go, I've heard the clicker mechanical relay, so this Hyperion EQ can now be controlled from the plug-in and there's a bilateral response, so and really you can do a lot with this, you've either got the uh, these type of things here where you can um, drag and drop or you've got these beautiful dials which work there. The EQ itself works uh, as was a dual mono EQ, a stereo EQ, or a mid side EQ, which is very nice. Um, uh, I think let's go back to the hardware again. This this is nice to use as well. Um, it shows you what you're doing, and that's the fr uh, frequency there. So it's kind of uh, graduated and um, it's pr pretty intuitive after a couple of uses. Uh, so let, let's turn this on. And we're in mid side mode, so I can kind of do the center. Let's get a bit more bass. And um, maybe mid so then we can do the sides you see there I've taken the high pass filter up 
on the sides to give a, a center image so very very nice uh, very intuitive you can add a harmonic distortion as well to either channel so the mid side channel or the stereo channels or the dual mono channels it's a useful bypass button so you can check check what's going on so that's fantastic and everything's replicated in here you can save it so when you next open the session the digital control in these un units will make the analog circuitry reset uh, per session so uh, that's very clever okay so let's close this and we'll have a look at the mimus which is the yeah so similar thing here we have the Mimus EQ I'll take this out of bypass so that's beautiful man it's really um, bring in the track alive there right there's a fair bit of clipping going on as well so uh, let me attenuate some stuff on here a little And then finally we get to the kind of familiar bus compressor, um, SSL style. Again, full hardware control of this. Uh, wet, dry, parallel, all, all the usual controls. Uh, a beautiful selection of filters, very well judged filters there. So, unfortunately, it's, uh, it, it's it's been a short. Uh, unfortunately, it's been a short stay with these units. They're needed to go back into professional studio action. So, I'm very grateful to uh, to Sean for having lent us these for review. Uh, I thoroughly recommend them. Very good build quality, same as kind of sound devices, but more suited for the studio. Um, very musical it makes the music come alive you can feel the heartbeat of the music and that's not an exaggeration um, the software is very smooth um, the Titan rack connects for a USB cable and you can do firmware uploads and so forth um, 